my lawn. What? I'm just uh, practicing for when I get older. Oh, okay. Uh, knucklehead in the Orlando area, who's 90 years old, wow. is behind bars. Cops say Thomas Conrad was irate that a gardener was on his property mowing the lawn and repeatedly yelled at him to get off. His next door neighbor walked over to intervene and told Conrad, stop yelling at the gardener. Conrad threatened to punch the neighbor who replied, go ahead, but I wouldn't advise it or police will get called. Conrad then allegedly punched the neighbor in the face. Oh my God! Twice! And walked back inside his house. When police showed up at his house, uh, Conrad's wife answered the door and told officers, my husband's resting and he doesn't want to be disturbed. <laughs> after, after the silver slugger told officers to get the blank out of my house, he told them he punched the neighbor because, quote, he told him to punch him in the face. <laughs> Cops asked him what we have done if the neighbor told him to shoot him, and he said, quote, but I would have shot him. <laughs> Conrad was arrested, <laughs> locked up for battery, and resisting police. So the good news is he'll be getting the rest he was hoping oh, for, right? This goes back to the say what you mean, mean right? what you say. <laughs> Animal control officers in San Mateo, California, rushed over to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor who spotted a huge, scary tarantula on the roof. Oh, no. But nerves were calm once everyone realized it's October and the creepy crawler was just a Halloween decoration. <laughs> this time of the year, police departments and all other local agencies received tons of phone calls from people frightened by realistic-looking Halloween decorations. The animal control officer was given permission to the homeowner to climb up on the roof with a cage to trap the arachnid, but he got up there and immediately discovered a fake plastic spider. The homeowner didn't even realize it was there, and everyone looked at it and thought it looked real. The officer brought the creepy crawly back to the Humane Society's office, where it was used to prank the colleagues. Oh, that's good. And I just love the way this story's written. Okay. An Ohio man is injured after allegedly confronting deputies with a homemade spear. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office said the deputies encountered a naked man at a residence on reports of breaking and entering. He allegedly jumped out at authorities who were searching for him while, and I quote, carrying a lengthy and pretty thick spear. <laughs> they fired on the charging man before giving him first aid and taking him off to the hospital. Well, I wonder how his lengthy and pretty thick weapon is doing. <laughs> Hang on, let me whip out my lengthy and pretty thick spear and use it as a weapon. That's awful. And, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just a wording. Anyway, those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more at Mel and Scott in the Morning on Facebook, uh, Gator Country 101.9, and on our YouTube channel. Be sure and subscribe. Mel and Scott in the Morning. We post our videos there every day.